He was once called the most popular president on earth, praised by millions of Brazilians for improving the lives of the poor. But now Judge Sergio Moro has charged the 71-year-old with receiving a property worth $1.1 million from the OAS construction company. It was just one of five cases the former president has been linked with in the huge corruption investigation known as the Lava Jato or car wash scandal. Lula is being investigated for alleged obstruction of justice and receiving bribes in relation to illegal payments made by Brazil's oil giant Petrobras and the construction giants Odebrecht and OAS. I can't say he did bad things during his time in government, but when we take into account his involvement in all the scandals, it gets complicated and it becomes difficult to support him. We don't trust him anymore. Lula has called the accusations a big lie, saying they are designed to destroy his political reputation and prevent him from running in next year's presidential elections. The former union leader left office in 2011 with a record 83% approval rating. He's still one of the most popular political figures in Brazil, despite many now asking probing questions. As president, he initiated important changes, especially in the northeast part of the country where his policies helped a lot. Unfortunately, he got lost. In my opinion, he's not only involved in the scandals, but he's the main one who started everything. I can't say he did bad things during his time in government, but when we take into account his involvement in all the scandals, it gets complicated and it becomes difficult to support him. We don't trust him anymore. Lula had said he planned to run for president again in 2018. Despite the conviction, he's not yet been banned from politics and might not be if he wins his appeals. But whatever the final outcome, Lula's position has been weakened while his Workers' Party faithful tried to salvage the advances made during their time in office. Daniel Schwein, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.